Alright guys, so we're back doing another video and uh, we got some uh, sway bar end links to get all nice and swapped out. <laughs> So what we're doing today is we're going to be switching out the end links in the car. So <clears throat> the ones I have in there are uh, like plastic and um, so what we're going to do is with the upgraded sway bar, uh, which is on another video, um, it's just you can definitely feel uh, a pretty big difference um, from the sway bar and those end links are just not able to keep up with it. There's like a popping that's happening with the um, uh, every time like I turn. Um, I'm sure some of that is also coming from the uh, uh, from the suspension itself or <laughs> suspension, the shocks and the, and the springs themselves because they're pretty worn out. Uh, so uh, definitely got to upgrade those as well. But um, I also was reading that the uh, end links can also be a cause of it if they start to, you know, start to loosen up. So I figured if we got to loosen them or we got to retighten them, might as well get them swapped out. But we're going to see if this actually works or they'll fit. Um, not sh uh, these are supposed, these are like universal ones from Whiteline. Um, and I got them from somebody on Facebook and uh, um, he's a big Camaro guy. He's been doing some um, R&D with a couple companies and this is what they sent to him when he upgraded his stuff but he had already you know swapped out his end link so uh, we'll see if these work and if they fit um, and uh, if they don't then we gotta do something different and uh, go from there but um, yeah we're gonna just lift the car up and take the wheel off and we'll take a look at the old ones and measure these to see if they'll they'll work and uh, we'll see we'll see what happens here are the uh, other ones so as you can see it's like a it's like a plastic almost and so we're gonna get those replaced um, and overall I'm just kind of looking to see how tough this is gonna be to get out um, so there's a bolt here and then there's a bolt on the other side right there so we're gonna get those out but the one thing I want to do and what you should always do is grab the new ones and uh, nope and when we got the new ones obviously you know these look way better but just line them up Let's see if they'll work and we might have to go you might have to go to the softer setting, but overall it'll be okay only for the fact that it's going to be much stiffer. Um, so um, so this will stiffen it up a lot more than that uh, than the plastic one. so should be good. So we'll go ahead and take this one off and um, yeah, we'll just go from there. It's out. It was actually pretty easy. Uh, the only hard part was to get the bottom one. Um, I did have to use an Allen wrench to get in there and where it's located, it's pretty hard. So um, just to give you an idea what I did. So right there, there's one bolt there. And then on the other side back here is the other one. Now, obviously the sway bar is gonna be different. I have, um, you know, uh, a two adjust a, a two way adjustable um, sway bar up front, so you only have one hole. Um, but it was on this other side here, so it's definitely gonna need, you're gonna need an Allen wrench. You can't use anything else, only for the fact that there's not a whole lot of room here. So um, yeah, I just put the Allen wrench, held it on this side, grabbed an 18 millimeter. That's what that's what um, fits perfectly, and I don't know what that would be in. Uh, um, you know, in standard socket sizes, but, um, but I just got an 18 millimeter, uh, wrench and 
the ones that are ratcheted, trust me, you want to get these. These are uh, these are lifesavers. But yeah, then it just came out. So in looking at it, they are pretty much the same size now. Obviously, it's a little bit bigger, and when you look at when you look at the bushings, you know, a lot of play. Really got to push hard on this one. So, um, <laughs> you're going to want to, obviously, when we get the car, and, oh, that's one thing I wanted to say. I needed to get another jack. When I loosened it, the whole thing kind of, like, came down. So, I would say... If you don't only have one jack, jack it up, put stands, and then use your other jack to kind of bring it up. But, um, yeah, they're about the same size. This one's, like I said, it's a, it is a, a universal one. So, um, these adjust here, so you can twist this and it'll extend and then do all that good stuff. So, what I'll do is I'll leave the nuts loose for now. And then that way, once I put it in and I tighten everything, then I'll tighten these up. But, um, yeah, I'll just go in the opposite direction. Uh, I'm going to put some thread locker on here to make sure that there's no, um, you know, there's no issues coming back. Now, White Line did send um, new um, uh, nuts that can go on here. Um, so we should be fine. And I think they're supposed to be washers, but... When I took this one off, um, there was no washers on it, so I think it'll be okay. Um, but yeah, um, removal was super easy. Like I said, the top one came off like fast, like insanely fast. Um, the bottom one was just a little bit of a, of a, a hassle, but like I said, if you just get a, let's see what size this is. It, it is a 732nd and, uh, yeah, it fits perfectly, and I think it it's a little small in the other one, so you may, I may have to go to a bigger one. Let's see here. So my uh, Allen wrench set is pretty banged up, so but it works. It'll it'll fit in there. So um, it's just to hold it down anyway, so it'll be fine. Um, and the instructions say you need about a hundred foot pounds, and to get a unless you're coming at it from the bottom with a super thin uh, torque wrench um, just tighten it by hand as, as much as you can um, and uh, I think you'll be fine and the top is a little less but I think if you just tighten it by hand very well I think you'll be alright because then um, especially with the the thread locker um, they shouldn't they shouldn't crawl out so yeah we'll go ahead and uh, put them on and alright how to do some things so that guy back there is all nice and tight. It was a little bit tough to get to, but once I got it all nice and tightened up, it was uh, it was good. I was a little concerned because I thought that this part here was uh, supposed to go through it, but then I realized this is a rubber um, bushing, so it's not supposed to be contacting anything. So I was like going to try and grind it down, and I'm glad I stop myself and realize that that's not it so the new bolts on it are night are 19 um, I don't have the ratchet one of this so it's been fun trying to do that with um, with this guy uh, and I don't have deep socket um, <laughs> well I wouldn't be able to do it with a deep socket anyway because you need to hold you need to hold the the bolt with the allen wrench anyway so these guys with the ra ra ratchet end, I'm telling you, 19, get it. It's gonna save you a lot of time. But you have to turn the wheel all the way to the right, obviously all the way to the left on the other side so you can actually get a wrench in here. Um, because once when it's straight, you're not gonna have anything. So um, yeah, but uh, I just did that side as hard as I could and as tight as I could and then I tightened up the small bolt down here this is all nice and tight once I tighten this one I'll straighten it back out and then I'll tighten this guy here so that way this won't move um, while it's uh, running and then it pops out 
which I don't think it'll happen, but better to be safe than sorry. Um, yeah, and then I had to use this to raise up the strut a little bit, so that way um, I could fit this guy through. And uh, yeah, it worked. So right now I'm just going to tighten this little guy up and then we'll move on to the other side. All right, so it's all tightened up. That's all nice and snug. Um, I did put thread locker on this other side here. And it's gonna be fun when I go into coilovers because I gotta take it all apart, but. Um, these are nice and tight as well. Um, these are 17 inch um, to get them all nice and tight. So that's good, this side's done. We can put the wheel on and um, yeah, we'll start on the other side. That's it guys. Um, it was really easy, to be quite honest. Um, both sides are done. Um, the, I mean, to be, like, it, oh my god, like, it was super fast. So, I'd say both sides maybe took, you know, probably took longer to, like, get the tools and everything than the actual replacing of the stuff, but super easy. Um, I mean... Like I said, the only reason why it took much longer than it was supposed to is because I've never done it, but uh, super fast. Um, just small tips, um, like I said, you will need a second jack or at least be able to put your car on jack stands or if it's on a lift, even better. But you will have to lift the strut up for those, um, those uh, links to, to fit or to kind of move them up and down to get them to go into the holes. Um, because if not, you're going to have a really hard time having to, um, like, pull it up or, you know, struggle with the with the sway bar. Uh, or the actual strut itself where you're going to have to move it up and down and try and get it to actually fit. Um, but super simple. Um, like I said, it wasn't really hard. Uh, both sides are kind of mirrored. You do have to turn the wheel all the way to the right if you're on the passenger side all the way to the left if you're on the driver side just so that way you can get to the to the nut so you can tighten it down and put in the the allen key uh, definitely want to try and find the right one um, the one i was using was great for the stock ones not so much for the uh for the white line sorry but once you get that all kind of tightened up you should be fine i think in a couple weeks um i'll probably take the wheels off just do a quick you know one two check and make sure they're all nice and tight but right now it's just uh, kind of testing the car and seeing what the differences are um i feel like it's gonna just overall road feel is gonna be a lot better um i'm not gonna say it's going to make the whole car handle better i think it's just going to be response is going to be much quicker and um you know uh you know just overall drivability and feel of the actual road transferring from the wheels to the steering wheel is going to be better so but that's it um but thank you guys for watching i know this is a short video and i know i didn't really go in a whole lot of detail i mean i feel like i did but like i said it's really only just two bolts and a couple little things you got to do to kind of make it fit um but um maybe having another person is never a bad idea uh somebody can hold the allen wrench while you're kind of you know tying everything down or vice versa to try and pull off the stock ones but i'd say it's a it's a really easy swap so uh i'd recommend it uh, if you're just trying to kind of get a little more um feedback from the road um i'm gonna find that out in a little bit i'm ex gonna drive the car around maybe around the parking lot just make sure it doesn't fall apart on me <laughs> um yeah that's it guys thank you so much for watching um for those of you who have subscribed welcome and uh Thank you guys for taking the time to watch the videos and comment and uh, got some more stuff coming up and uh, we're going to do some more suspension work and uh, hopefully we're able to get a couple more track days before the end of the year and they close down all the, all the uh, tracks and we have to wait till early spring but uh, you know we'll do some canyon runs just to have some fun but um, again thank you guys like subscribe and comment let me know um, if there's an easier way of doing it I don't think there really was it was actually as easy as possible so um yeah thank you guys